Russia has launched a massive counteroffensive at Kursk. And guess what? They have North Korean troops on their side. What an unexpected turn of events. However, with the Ukrainian drone force skyrocketing in numbers and capabilities, they are now a formidable force. These machines don't just fly low, they are capable of destroying Russian convoys like a game. Several buildings have collapsed under the sheer force of the drones, while others have been destroyed in a fiery explosion. This massive explosion occurring with a single well-aimed strike. These FPV drones could do serious damage to Russian forces. Imagine the chaos. With Russian forces desperately trying to escape from the Ukrainian FPV drones, they are exhausted, unaware of the dangers lurking on the battlefield at this very moment. Russian soldiers in a panic throw their rifles at a Ukrainian FPV drone as it approaches for an attack. In gripping footage from Ukraine's 129th Territorial Defense Brigade, we see Russian soldiers making a hasty retreat in the Kursk region. As the drone dives, it begins circling the Russian soldiers like a hawk eyeing its prey. Some of the soldiers, feeling the heat, decide to take matters into their own hands. They throw their machine guns at the drone, hoping to take it down. But the drone isn't done yet. It makes another move, and this time it lands directly on one of the Russian soldiers. The impact is captured by another quadcopter drone, which confirms the chaos. Some soldiers are hit, and others are showered with debris. The Russian troops thought they had a way to escape, but their path back to base just got a lot harder. As time goes on, Russian forces are finding it increasingly difficult to replace their losses. The more they push, the greater the risk of losing. And with more casualties on their side, they will have even less to work with tomorrow. Here, Ukrainian forces are able to hold their ground, and we could be witnessing a turning point in this conflict. The stakes are high, and every move counts. In the Kursk region, Russia faced a serious warning, thanks to some cleverly placed mines. Their troops were hit, losing a large amount of equipment during a mechanized attack, all thanks to anti-tank mines lurking in Kursk, China. Videos showing the plight of Russian equipment went viral. What a dramatic revelation. According to the Ukrainian general staff, the mine barriers caused the loss of part of the enemy's equipment during their not-so-successful attack attempt. The mines were carefully installed by the engineering units of the support troops and the tactical support group in Kursk, China. It was as if they turned the battlefield into a game of minesweeper, and the enemy had no chance. Thanks to the barrage of mines, expertly made by specialists from the 12th Separate Support Regiment and other engineering and sapper units, about 30% of the enemy's equipment was destroyed during their advance. That was incredible firepower. The general staff could not help but express their gratitude praising the soldiers for their high level of professionalism and effective combat work, and for turning the tide in this fierce battle. The strategic use of mines in the Kursk region has proven to be a game changer, causing significant losses to Russian forces. The dedication and skill of Ukrainian troops have made a tremendous impact on the battlefield. Incredible drone footage of Polish paratroopers, watching them from the front lines as they take on a large Russian armored convoy from the 810th Marine Brigade. The Russians thought they could just walk in and surprise the Ukrainian defenses, but boy did they panic. Initially, the Russians sent a small group to test the defenses. The results were not encouraging. The Ukrainian troops, armed with FPV drones, managed to quickly defeat them. After that humiliating defeat, the Russian commander decided to up the ante and send in a larger convoy, thinking they could defeat the Ukrainians. But guess what? Their element of surprise was as effective as a screen door on a submarine. As the Russian convoy sped along, they ran straight into a minefield. Even after suffering significant losses, they pushed forward like stubborn toddlers refusing to take a nap. But here's where it gets really interesting. As they advanced, they unknowingly came under fire from Ukrainian artillery and FPV drones. And trust us, those drones were ready to party. With pinpoint accuracy, Ukrainian troops launched a series of attacks, destroying Russian positions in the area. It was like watching a fireworks display, but instead of beautiful colors, there was total destruction. The Ukrainian 95th Brigade once again proved that they should not be messed with. Ultimately, this clash in the Kursk region served as a powerful reminder of the resilience and tactical prowess of the Ukrainian troops. Ukrainian forces held out and repelled 22 Russian attacks. What a formidable defense. The general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine shared this information, and the results are truly shocking. 
Russia launched two missile strikes and two rocket attacks targeting Ukrainian positions in populated areas. They didn't sit still either. 77 airstrikes and 123 guided bombs were dropped. And if that wasn't enough, Russia fired over 4,900 shells, including 152 from multiple launch rocket systems. Ukrainian defense forces didn't just sit idly by. On the same day, they carried out nine strikes on enemy troop concentrations and weapons storage sites. They even destroyed a UAV control center, an artillery system, two logistics depots, and an electronic warfare station. On the border with Belarus, no signs of enemy strike groups were detected. It seemed like the calm before the storm, or perhaps just a strategic lull. Meanwhile, Ukrainian defense forces continued to press the Kursk region. Russian aircraft carried out 27 airstrikes on Kursk, dropping 37 guided bombs. However, Ukrainian defenders stood their ground and repelled 22 of those strikes. The situation on the front lines is extremely tense, with both sides attacking each other. However, the resilience of the Ukrainian troops is evident, proving that they will not give up anytime soon. Today marks 1,000 days of the ferocious war between the two nations that has caused utter devastation on both sides in a bitter feud for territory. Almost three years since Russian despot Vladimir Putin illegally invaded his neighbor, over a million soldiers and civilians have died. What initially started as a peacekeeping mission by Putin quickly turned deadly as his Russian soldiers ripped through eastern Ukraine and destroying everything that came their way. The full-scale invasion has all been part of the deluded dictator's plan to rebuild the Soviet Union amid his paranoid fears over NATO. Kyiv's battle-weary troops are now fighting to the death on multiple fronts and have faced some major setbacks in the past few months as Russia made slow but incremental gains in terms of Ukrainian territory. Kursk is one of the most pivotal battlegrounds in the current Russia-Ukraine war scenario. What is happening in Kursk at the moment is critically important to the Russians. And whoever holds Kursk at Christmas holds vital ground and could make a huge difference in the war. The crucial thing is with the great buildup of troops in Kursk, including 10,000 North Koreans. It shows that Putin is almost throwing all his cards on the table to regain Kursk, which is a vital Russian ground.